Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the Dow Jones today using the Bill Williams theory? Now, if looking at the daily, we've kind of rolled over and uh, we had two indecision bars here and again with a spinning top and a hanging man and then we've had a, a daily confirmation. Okay. However, on the daily, this market is still very much in an uptrend. Okay. So I would take the bit of selling yesterday with a pinch of salt. Uh, we do have a breakout level here that I would like us to test and that would give me confidence for a move to the upside. Um, let's just get down to the 30 minutes. That's the level we want to trade. Okay, so we I remember when we were doing the video yesterday we had this consolidation phase here. Okay, and um, pointed out to you that if we had a, a decent break of this there was an opportunity for a long that never materialized but we did break the downside so price action uh, is always on the 30 minutes you can see we trended down and then we ranged broke the range and then we retested that range break right over there so now if i'm using the 12 minutes and we come and look at this you can see ranging breakout, retest the range, and we sold off. Okay. Um, we did come back and test, and it was pretty violent most of the day. Now, this was the open, and then we sold off, rallied up, and fell off again. So, kind of a difficult thing to trade on the on the uh, 12 minutes or the lower time frames and you know this in my experience with the the Dow is is how it goes you know the, the the uptrend is so strong that every opportunity that the bulls get they buy and they drive price up aggressively so it's not always easy to get your shorts running on the Dow okay so that's why to me uh, especially the Dow the S&P and the Nasdaq any short side trade are they scalps so I'm looking for the most logical target uh, to take my profit. Okay, so uh, let's just get to the hour. I know that that traded out very quickly. So the closing range breakout. Okay, it's not, I don't know why this bar came in here because that is not the bar we're looking for. These are the two bars here. But that pretty much tra traded out perfectly, I think. Yeah, you can see how uh, target two, target three was profit taking, and then target four was profit taking. So that was a, a classic uh, closing range breakout strategy that played out very well. Now, you notice when you come to the one hour how we are below the alligator and how cleaner price action is at the moment. Okay, so. With this instrument, especially the Dow, you know the, the one hour is a great indicator of what's going actually going on. Okay, the, the, the lower time frame is noisy, and when you're ranging like this, it's pretty nice to trade the lower time frame. But the minute you get a trend change like we've had now, then you're looking for the hour to show the way. Okay, so. That is our range currently. Okay, that's our closing range. This is our last two hours of trading, and this is the opening. So what we are looking for, or essentially what I'm looking for, is uh, either a break to the downside. That break to the downside, I would expect us to get some kind of uh, buyer stepping in uh, around twenty-five eight eight seven. Okay. It lines up with the 200 moving average on the hour, and it also lines up with a previous breakout here, which I would like to see us test. So that is definitely an area that I'm looking for longs. Okay, now I'm just going to delete this noise for now. So I'm specifically looking 25887. That would be a fairly good long entry, and uh, you could probably have a 
50 point stop loss. Okay, we do have a gap to the downside here. So there is a magnet being a, a gap. So just be wary of that. Though it also is possible that this breakout fails and then we come down here. But how it should play out is price should come to this level first and then bounce fairly aggressively off this level. And when I say fairly aggressively, you know, probably more back into like an 80, 90 point bounce. Okay. And then if it is going to continue to the downside, then it'll continue from this area to the downside. So it'll be another area to look for shorts. But your profit taking again is going to be this level until this level breaks. And remember the rule, third time lucky. So often with the, the Dow, it'll go once, twice, and then break through on the third or even um, third time bounce and then a fourth breakthrough. So just bear that in mind. 80% of breakouts fail. And this would be a breakout. Okay, well it was a breakout. So there was a first attempt at breaking through, it failed. There was a second one, it failed, and then it succeeded. Okay. So for now, uh, trend has changed, trend is down, and we need to trade that accordingly. So if you look at the half hour, you can see a very noisy, uh, all this chaos happening here. But for now, the trend is still down, and we are testing the 200 moving average on the hour, on the half hour, sorry. So, what you're looking for is any kind of bearish price action. And you can see we have a wedge forming. So that would be my first indication. Okay, so I'm looking potentially, uh, well, I'm still looking for, I would say there are still some short scalps available uh, to come and test this uh, breakout level of 25887. But um, I'm definitely looking for a longer 25. 887. It may only be a, a short move to the upside before turning, but that's fine because you know overall the trend is up, so I'd rather be long than short. So even if it does come back up, we're talking about a potential 100 point move, which is more than more than enough for me on the, the Dow anyway. Okay, so last things. I want to just, this was the original move into here. Okay, it kind of lines up with the bottom. And I just want to have a look to the left to see what's there. Okay, let's see how nicely that plays out. So this bit of consolidation is the area that we can expect. Now, this gap is a magnet, so let's just line this up. So this would be the last line of defense before gap close. So we are looking at 25854. Should 25854 break, then we have a 25793 target. And that is another area for a long. Okay. And uh, let's just get a Fibonacci on here. So we can see what we want to, what's going on. And you can see we are flirting with the 50% Fibonacci and you can see the 61.8 lines up here. 76.2 lines up with, um, with the gap close. I think this, this bar here is um, incorrect data. Okay. If I remember correctly. Just double check that. Yeah. Okay, so that four hour bar is incorrect data. So looking at it on the hour, you can see there's our 76.4, which is pretty much gap close. Okay, so that is a very good area to be long, as far as I'm concerned. So I would expect us to have another move to the downside uh, today. Probably just meander down, and then I, I wouldn't be surprised if we just meander down then bounce around at the open, and then a quick acceleration down to close the gap, and we form a big pin bar off, off the gap close. That's kind of what I would expect to happen. So what am I looking for? So first things I'm looking for is a continuation to the downside, and I'm looking for us to come and test this 
this area here of 25887 or uh, 25, what's the bottom here? It's 25854. So I'm looking for us to move into this zone. Okay, that is first point. So I would look for a long here. And that long may be short-lived or it may work out. But there's definitely going to be an ambush in this area where the, the, the bulls step in. Um, if this fails, then the next level for a long is going to be at the gap close here at 25790. Okay. Um, so I've drawn this wrong with that incorrect data. Let's just take it to there and just see what that does. Okay. Well, that looks a little bit different. So this line here would be there. So the 61.8 lines up with the top here. Okay. So that's a little bit different. 50% lines up with... Um, this breakout level so that starts to make a little bit more sense now okay so for me this is a consolidation and we're looking for a break to the downside okay so we're looking for more downside and i'm looking for it into this area here okay it's, uh, once we've hit this area definitely an area to take profit and an area to look for a long because i can expect us to bounce it may only be a little bit or it may be quite a, an intense bounce um, if we do break through here with ease and we head to the gap close that's going to be our profit taking area and then what we're looking for is a an opportunity to get long again okay so that's kind of my take on this at the moment um so i'm still looking for a little bit more downside uh, come and test the breakout level this is the first breakout level i'd like to see us test and then uh, ultimately i'd like to see this gap close because that would give us a very very nice short trade of around a hundred almost 200 points okay so that's kind of my take on this at the moment um, still short and waiting for some price action uh, in one of these zones so at the 50 percent or at the 61.8 um, or at the gap close so a fairly significant area that we need to pay attention to so we are talking about a zone of 100 points okay so that's my take on this at the moment and uh, by the looks of things we could be looking for this um, short very soon okay so what we want to do is move that to there so that gives us our rising wedge so uh, one thing to watch you can see how we're starting to roll here and you can see how we are also in the overbought territory here. So um, I do suspect we are definitely going to get some downside. So just watch for that. And um, we are at gap close, which is fairly significant. And uh, what's the time now? 7 o'clock. So, yeah, we'll give it an hour or so, and then we'll see what's going on. But there's definitely an opportunity for a short trade here. And bear in mind that that, short trade is potentially a good 100 points okay so that might take on the dow jones for today i hope that helps and um yeah enjoy your day enjoy your weekend and i'll catch up with you guys later cheers for now bye